My name is Megan and I'm a second year speech therapy graduate student at East Tennessee State University. So today we're going to talk about food. Specifically, we're going to talk about how foods feel and taste. These are called food attributes. So one of my clinic placements was the Positive Eating Program, or PEP for short. So at PEP, we talk about food attributes with our kiddos because research has shown that increasing a child's food vocabulary or their knowledge about food increases their likelihood of trying and eating new and healthy foods. So today we're going to learn about five food attributes. Salty, sweet, sour, soft, and crunchy. So our first one is salty. What does it mean when something tastes salty? Well, salt is used to add flavor to our food and it can make our food taste better. Some foods that are salty are pretzels, potato chips. Can you think of any more foods that taste salty? When learning about food attributes, I like to add motions because they help me remember. So at the end of this video, we'll play a game where I'll show you a picture of a food and I want you to do the motion for that food attribute. So for salty, I like to shake like a salt shaker. So later on, if you see potato chips or another salty food, I want you to shake like a salt shaker too. Next, we have sweet. Some foods that are sweet are fruits like apples and bananas or other sweets like cake ice cream. Can you think of any other foods that might taste sweet? The motion for sweet is to give yourself a big hug because people can be sweet too and giving someone a hug can be a sweet thing to do. So later on in our game when you see a sweet food like apples or cake I want you to give yourself a big hug. All right our next attribute is sour. What does it mean when something tastes sour? When we taste something sour, we might make a face like this. This is because our sour foods have a very strong taste and sometimes it makes us make a silly face when we eat them. A sour food I can think of is a lemon. Have you ever tried a lemon? Or maybe lemonade? Lemons are sour and they make us go so remember that motion for sour. That's our silly sour face. Next we have soft. So our first three attributes had to do with how foods taste. But soft is how a food feels. This can be how it feels when we touch it with our hands or our lips or our tongue or our teeth. Soft foods are easy to chew and they're not very noisy when we're chewing them. Can you think of any soft foods? I think of mashed potatoes or noodles. Noodles are soft when we bite into them. The motion for soft is to rub our cheeks like this because our face is also soft. So when you see a food that is soft, I want you to rub your face like this. All right, so the last attribute we're going to talk about today is my favorite, crunchy. Crunchy also has to do with how a food feels. Crunchy foods make a crunch sound when we bite into them. Crunchy foods I like to eat are carrots and celery. Carrots and celery are also vegetables and vegetables help us stay healthy. So the motion that I like to do for crunchy is big alligator arms like this. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Can you think of foods that go crunch when you take a bite? So now that we've talked about all five food attributes, let's go over the motions for each one one more time before we play our game. So when a food is salty, we shake like a salt shaker. When a food is sweet, we give ourselves a big hug. When a food is sour, we make our silly sour face. When a food is soft, we rub our face like this. And when a food is crunchy, we do our big alligator crunch arms. So now it's time for our game. So I'll show you a picture of a food 
and I want you to do the motion that goes along with that foo. Ready? So the first one is carrot. What motion will we do for carrot? So a carrot is crunchy. So we would do our alligator arms for crunchy. Carrots are a vegetable and they're very good for us and they go crunch when we bite into them. So let's try another one. Next we have ice cream. Which one of the attributes do we do for ice cream? So ice cream is both sweet, so sweet, and it's also soft. It's soft when we bite into it. Ice cream is also cold. Now what part of our ice cream here is crunchy? Is this part crunchy or is the cone crunchy? So that's right, the ice cream cone is crunchy. Our next one is orange juice, one of my favorite drinks. So what would we do for orange juice? So orange juice tastes sour. So our silly sour face, some people might think that orange juice tastes sweet too, but orange juice mostly tastes sour like lemons and lemonade. What about sweet potatoes? So I've given you a little hint in the name. What do we think about sweet potatoes? So sweet potatoes are sweet. So we give ourselves a big hug for sweet potatoes. When you cook sweet potatoes, they also become soft. So we could do this motion for soft. All right, what about pancakes? Pancakes are my favorite breakfast food. So pancakes are also soft. They're soft when we bite into them. So what was our motion for soft? That's right, to rub our face like this for soft. Next we have potato chips. What are we gonna do for potato chips? So potato chips are crunchy. So crunch, crunch, crunch. Potato chips are crunchy. And how do they taste? Do potato chips taste sour or do they taste salty? Potato chips taste salty. So we shake like a salt shaker. Next we have spaghetti. So let's think about spaghetti noodles. How do spaghetti noodles feel? So spaghetti noodles feel soft. So they are soft when we bite into them. Next we have celery. This is a green vegetable. How does a celery taste? And how does it feel? So celery feels crunchy. It's crunchy when we bite into it. Celery makes a big crunch sound like carrots. So crunch, crunch for celery. What about French fries? It looks like we've got some McDonald's French fries for this picture. How do McDonald's French fries taste? So McDonald's French fries taste salty. So for salty, we're gonna do shake like a salt shaker. 
We've got one more. What about cheese? How does cheese feel when we bite into it? Does it feel soft or does it feel crunchy? So cheese is soft. So soft. We rub our face like this. That was all for our game. Thanks for playing. So parents, this is a fun and simple activity that you can implement during meal times or food prep activities to increase your child's knowledge about new foods or foods they already eat. Thank you for learning with me today. Bye friends.